Go. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so I, th- I thought of you, and I have been because I've been watching the show Suits on Netflix, and I've, I've never heard of the show ever. When it was on, it was on for nine years, I'd never heard of it. And apparently, this is the show Meghan Markle was on before she married the prince, and then I guess she married him, and then she had she was written on the show because she, she married him. But anyway, it's corporate law, right? Corporate lawyers and such, and uh, this is what you were, a corporate killer. Back in your day. Back in the day, yes. Yeah. Gajillion dollar mergers, you know, uh, holding people's feet to the fire, playing hardball, closing deals. That was you. This nice, sweet backpack mom we see in front of us was once a corporate killer. That's right. And, and now I use my power for good. <laughs> 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 Trying to help the kids of Berkeley County. Well, very nice. And you also work with the teachers, too. That's right. Yeah, what's, your, I, what's your other job? I am... Um, an organizational specialist for the West Virginia Education Association. So that is my paying job. Um, backpack program, we're 100% volunteer. So that's my volunteer job. It's a labor of love. Pete Mulford called me the other day and he said, Rob, backpack program has a golf tournament coming up. I'd like to get Lisa Henry on the program to talk about that. I said, Pete, for you, anything. And for Lisa Henry, even more. Well, thank you. Yeah, Pete's a great guy, and he's um, helping us with the organization of the tournament this year. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you know, um, all of you going to grocery stores over the past year, food prices have gone up quite a bit. And uh, so we need to raise funds. And a fun way to do that is our annual golf tournament. And we are having it this time in the fall. It is on September 25th, which is a Monday at the Woods. Uh, at the woods. And uh, what time are we going to tee, uh, tee off? Um, tee off at 11 a.m. So we are looking for players and business sponsorships. And um, you can even sponsor a tee sign for $100. You don't have to have a business. And you can get whatever you want put on that tee sign. Be and careful. we'll have it for the tournament. Well, <laughs> with exceptions, yes. Uh, what's it cost to play? So uh, one player is $100. And you can do a foursome for 375 Oh, a discount. Yes. Very good. How much are you hoping to raise? You've done these before, haven't you? Yes, we have. Um, we They were on hold during COVID. Um, last year, we had our tournament, and we raised a record of $12,000, which is almost the cost of one month of food. So it costs us about $15,000 a month to feed uh, over 700 kids each um, each month during the school year for the backpack program. And we provide bags of non-perishable food that include things. um, Each child gets a can of soup, a can of pasta, a macaroni and cheese, um, tuna pouches. We also do fruit cups. They will get four snacks. Um, Any kind of non-perishable snacks like granola bars, nuts, peanut butter crackers, cookies, uh, Rice Krispie treats. We usually do kind of two healthier and then two sweet, and then also um, four breakfast items as well. So the purpose of that is so kids are fed over the weekend when they're not getting the school breakfast and lunches that many families depend on. Mr. Gilstrap, is uh, Berkeley County Backpack Program part of, does it have sister programs in the other counties as well, or is it is it unique to... Berkeley County. So our program is a standalone that we just provide for Berkeley County, but um, there is also another program in Berkeley County Kids Power Pack that also just does Jefferson County. So all the schools are are um, covered, and Morgan County has their own standalone program out of starting points in in Morgan County. So the Eastern Panhandle. Um, if you are listening and you're in any of those counties and you want help, just contact your child's school and you can say that you want to sign up for the weekend food bags and they can point you in the right direction. I, I, 15000 a month in Berkeley County when we're talking about soup and pasta and mac and cheese, which, which is not hugely expensive stuff, 15000 a month seems like a really big number. How big an issue is this? Is the Is the childhood hunger problem in Berkeley County. Yeah, so in Berkeley County, um, according to Feeding America, about one in seven kids lives in an insecure food household. So that means that they do not have a reliable source of food um, on a daily basis. So we we do not have an income restriction. So if you just feel you are in need, um, it it could be you are in great financial... um, 
you you had no problem with money before, but maybe you're hit with um, a hospital bill, um, divorce, any kind of sickness, and you find that you're in need, our help can be temporary, or we've had many families that have been on our program year after year. So there's you do not need to file paperwork with us to receive this food assistance. So if a family has, I don't know, pick a number, four children, can all four children Yes, be absolutely. Part of the we do pre K through twelfth grade in Berkeley County. Well impressive. Very nice shirt too, by the way. I think you should these are our new shirts. Um, and we'll be wearing them at the golf tournament. Yes, um so thank you for noticing. Yeah. <laughs> Got my backpack gear on today. Miss DeHavi. Well, thank you, Miss Henry. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you and, and you know, very uh, God bless you for what you're doing. Um, what about the summer times? So we do have a summer program as well, and it works differently because uh, the kids are not in school. So we need to have the families come to us to pick up the food. And to try to make that a little easier, um, we do pickups every two weeks on a Saturday, and the families come to us. So we provide more food on those two pickups instead of doing a weekly pickup. And we also offer um, family food boxes as well of non-perishable food as a way to help families out. I imagine that um, there has been occasion where a parent has probably skimmed a little bit of the food. Is that accounted for in the amount that's, that's divvied out to the individual students? Um, yes. Yeah, so, so the purpose of the food is for the kids, but I'm sure that happens. And if there's something in the bag the child doesn't like. Um, but I'd say more is the case that... Um, it might be a younger a two or three year old who's not in school yet that the sibling shares food with. So we at the start of COVID did increase the amount of food that we include in the bags. Um, we're um, affiliated with Feeding America. Um, they have, you know, there's tens of thousands of backpack programs across the country and they have um, they provide guidance on how much you should provide in each food bag, and I think we do about double that to make sure the kids have enough food over the weekends. It, is it done in such a way that there's no kind of singling out of the students that reach out for assistance? Yes. Yeah, so what the schools do, we deliver, we have our volunteer delivery team deliver the bags every Thursday to the schools, um, and they are um, the food bags are in... Um, like Walmart shopping bags and they are delivered to the schools and the elementary schools then usually the guidance counselor takes those bags and gives them to each individual classroom and then the teachers will put the food in the kids backpacks usually when they're at recess or they're at unified arts a time when other kids aren't in the room to keep it discreet for the older kids in middle school and high school most schools have a pickup area in the school so when a child is um, has free time maybe coming in the in the morning or when they're leaving they just go to that area with their backpack put the food bag in and other people do not have to know because that is an issue um, there is a stigma um, and our numbers, unfortunately, do go down at the middle school and high school level because of that. The kids are embarrassed to pick up the food bags. Um, so that is something that we struggle with because we want to make sure all the kids are receiving the food they need. When the bags arrive at the school, is there one that is specifically for Johnny Jones, another one specifically for Mary Smith, or is it, are they all a bunch of identical bags? The bags are all identical except if the child has food allergies. So they are screened now. They're screened by Berkeley County Schools and the nutritionist Jennifer Miller works with us. And if the allergy um, can result in um, anaphylaxis, she, she makes those um, food bags. So if you have a severe nut allergy, she will make that food bag and deliver it to the school directly. Physically? I mean, she personally? Yes. Wow. Yes. So she she did, I think, about 10 to 15 bags for us last year. And then we had another 10 to 15 allergy bags that for less severe allergies, maybe like a red dye or lactose. And we have a volunteer who, that's her specialty. She just makes those allergy food bags. And those will be in yellow shopping bags and mar marked with the food allergy. So um, food allergies do get special um they get different bags to make sure they can eat that food. Well, not, not everyone plays golf. So how would someone, a non-golfer like myself, support your program? Will you take donations? I Oh, absolutely. Well, how would so, someone get you donations? Yeah, so we have a few things going on now. Um, 
I just want to shout out to um, BCT Cares, their foundation, their nonprofit through BCT Bank. They are having a Pack the Pack campaign now through, oh, I saw that yesterday. Now through yeah. the end of August where you can either go online or go to one of their branches and make a donation. And that helps um, our program as well as three other backpack programs in the area in Maryland and also in Northern Virginia as well as Berkeley and Jefferson County. If you are a uh, Target shopper and you collect, uh, you use Target Circle, um, you have votes, which you may not know about. Um, you have votes in Target Circle, and right now we are um, one of the nonprofits featured in that, and you can vote for our nonprofit, and we can get money that way. So we're excited. This is our first time that um, we've been able to get money from Target through their charity. And you can also, uh, of course, go online to our website and... Um, which is? It is um, <laughs> feedbcwvkids.org. And we have a Donate Now button. And we also have um, information on the website where you can mail a check as well. We can also take non-perishable food donations. And we have a list of drop boxes across Berkeley County where you can make that donation as well. And I'm sure there's a list of, of items that you would prefer to yeah. have. So think of what your kids or grandkids would like. It must be non-perishable and, and no glass to be included in the food bags. If we do receive larger items, um, let's say we get a big jar of peanut butter uh, we can save those for eat to be given out in boxes at, uh, around Christmas time or over the summer so that's what we'll put in our family bags if we have larger items like that to donate so we can take that as well and also please watch your um, expiration well they're not expiration dates they're best buy dates and um, that we're not getting if you donate something that's two years old we have to throw it away um, so check those dates um, before you donate as well so when it comes to soups you mentioned that's what is the most popular soup i would i'm going to guess that it's chicken noodle <laughs> yes okay so we do a lot of chicken noodle but then we try to um, vary it depending on um, doing 700 a week um, we have to buy in bulk so it's not like you can shop off the walmart shelves so we will get our food from sam's club or we also can um, we're since we're affiliated with feeding america we can purchase food from the um, mountaineer food bank which is in gasaway west virginia so the, that food is purchased though as well um, and it depends what they can get in stock so we will also get a uh, vegetable soup or tomato soup um, for a little variety, the macaroni and cheese packs are popular, as well as um, the Chef Boyardee, which Rob loves, and SpaghettiOs. <laughs> don't, don't do it, Lisa. <laughs> don't, don't cross over to the dark side. No canned spaghetti. And also the, um, the pouches of tuna and chicken are great. Um, and, you know, any snacks. Um, you know, the individually wrapped snacks, breakfast, and fruit cups are all are needed every week. Personal hygiene products like toothpaste, toothbrushes, does that? So we do get donations. We just had a donation from Pittman Orthodontics and um, Healthy Smiles we've gotten before that they will give us um, tooth uh, dental hygiene packets and we can put those in the food bags. And um, we do give out at our Christmas time as part of our Christmas project. In addition to boxes of food, we give a box of household goods. So um, we'll be soon asking for those donations and money um, as a part of that program. Um, that's something extra that we don't um, spend from our food funds. But the families really find um, those needed household items, toilet paper, uh, soap, garbage bags, all those things you need to live. Um, the families, that, that, that box that they get at Christmas time really helps them out. Do you have any public support at all? Are there any tax dollars from anywhere coming towards you? No. So we do not get any federal or state money. Um, we do, our uh, donations come from individuals, businesses, churches, and we also uh, apply for grants. Procter & Gamble has been very generous. We are a United Way agency, and we were one of the five don um, nonprofits in the area that were um, blessed with getting their community impact grant for the next year. And uh, fundraisers. So that's the golf tournament is um, one of our big fundraisers of the year. You used to do a spaghetti dinner. Is that gone for good? It is. Um, since COVID, the schools are, um, 
they are starting to allow groups back in, but it was a lot of work for not very much money. And since we're all volunteer, um, and most of our work goes into procuring the food, bringing it to our facility, and bagging it up, um, we get a lot more bang for our buck with the golf tournament. So we've mm-hmm. decided to go with that. Volunteers. So how many? How do you have uh, packing during the typical um, experience, and uh, do you need more volunteers to pack? So for packing, we usually have a good amount of volunteers. Um, Ever since COVID, we've had a um, sign up for volunteers. We changed how we do things and it's run more efficiently now. So if you are interested in volunteering, you can reach out to us, message us on Facebook. You can search for us under Berkeley County Backpack Program and send us a message. Um, And also our phone number is 304-268. 0635 if you're interested in volunteering we have a volunteer coordinator who then will be able to um, see when you can volunteer Um, most of our time is during the week during the day and but we do have other times where we have needs of people with pickup trucks who are able to pick up um, large orders at sam's club or from the mountaineer food bank and um those different things are needed as well. It's going to be difficult to find somebody with a pickup in West Virginia. That's got to be <laughs> real hard to find. But yeah. <laughs> How does this compare to, to your former job as a corporate lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Just asking for how much, a, how much ask, time you asking got. for a friend. <laughs> what is it like to be a recovering attorney? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is I'm on my fourth career now. I would say um, because um, now I um, work with teachers and service staff and advocate for public education in West Virginia, which I feel very strongly about. Having children in public school. My mom was a teacher. My husband's a teacher. And before this, I was a day to day substitute, then a permanent permanent substitute for Berkeley County Schools, Um, then a stay-at-home mom before that, and before that was the corporate attorney in Boston. So I would say my current job um, takes into account my skills I learned as an attorney, my knowledge I have from working at the schools, and then also um, how I can try to get volunteers, pull people together that I've learned from the backpack program. I've been with them for 12 years now and been executive director for about five And so I feel like that has all kind of pulled together in my job um, being a union rep for West Virginia and advocating for public schools. Did you get the answer you wanted? (laughs) How does it feel? Does it feel good? I I, I do like, um, I I do like, um, there is a part of it and it's, I would say it's kind of selfish, but I do like doing good for for the community. It does make you feel good. I have a practical question for you. If someone is finds themselves in Costco or in Sam's Club and they happen to have an extra case of, of canned soup or whatever in their cart, is is there a, a place to drop that off? Is, and where would that be? Yeah, so we have a list of drop boxes across the county. So, yep, yeah, pick that up. And um, um, an easy one off the top of my head is all the BCT branches um, are drop boxes for us. But look on our website. Um, We have um, some in the southern part of the county as well as in the northern. Um, Pick that up. You can drop it off um, during business hours because being 100% volunteer, we're not always at our facility unless there's work to be done. So those hours are on and off. So those drop boxes are a great way to go. Here are some of the locations. Bank of Charlestown, Berkeley Senior Services, Blue Ridge CTC, Eastern Panhandle Federal Credit Union, Exit Success Realty, Going Postal. Uh, That's Jason Barrett's place. Harmony at Martinsburg, Hedgesville Library. The Martinsburg Library, Moose Lodge 120, that's on Woodbury Avenue, New Life Community Church, Reed's Pharmacies, Summit Community Banks, uh, United Bank, West Virginia Radio Corporation, that's of course over on King Street, and The Woods. You can drop off at any of those locations. Yes, and um, New Life Community Church, they're one of our monthly donors. That's something you can do as well if you want to donate monthly. That's a wonderful way because we know that income's coming in. But they have these beautiful wooden boxes labeled with our logo outside their doors, so you can just put the food in there. It's covered under their awning at any time. They don't even have to be open to do that. So if you live in the southern part of the county, that's a great place to donate. I don't mean this to be a silly question, but what if you don't have a backpack as a child? We, I'm asking, will you take donations of actual backpacks if someone has... Yes. So this time of year, that's what uh, we're, especially once August comes, that's on a lot of people's minds. So if you are looking for a backpack for your child, there are 
many giveaways going on right now. Um, their uh, Martinsburg Initiative I saw was having a backpack giveaway, Faith Feeding Freedom. And in addition, all of the Berkeley County schools, um, I know when I go into the schools, I see that they have backpack donations as well. If we get backpack donations, we do give them out to the kids who are in our summer feeding program as well. So yes, we can take backpack donations, um, but our primary focus is the food. But there are many places that you can get backpack help if you need that for your child. And contacting the schools and the guidance counselors is always a great place to start for any services you need help with your family. They're a wealth of knowledge. Berkeley County has amazing guidance counselors. Lisa, good to see you again. Good to see you, and thank you for having me on. A uh, final note about the golf tournament. In so terms it is of re- re- Monday, um, September 25th at the Woods, and you can look us up on Facebook and get the sponsorship form and the player form and any information and questions you have. 100 bucks to play, 375 if all four of you want to get together and get the discount. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.